what's up? Mark here from WayCoolNews.net, giving you another new and exciting regular show toy review. Two reviews previously, we took a look at the larger, about 5-inch scale versions of Mordecai and Rigby, so if you're a fan of regular show, be sure to check out that review as well. This time around, we're taking a look at the retro 80s versions of Mordecai and Rigby. These figures are based off the ninth episode in the first season, entitled Prank Callers when Mordecai and Rigby are sent back in time to 1982 after prank calling the wrong guy, aka the master prank caller. Jazzwear stays consistent with their packaging. Like previously released regular show figures, it is clear and upfront at what you're buying. Both Mordecai and Rigby are seated on the right side of the packaging, alongside a pair of the best 80s sunglasses included for each figure. The blister sticker on the front also notes the rockin' head feature included in both Mordecai and Rigby. The packaging definitely does a fantastic job at recreating the feel and atmosphere of the show. The back of the packaging shows Mordecai and Rigby illustrated in their 80s attire that these figures were based on. The 80s were fun, colorful, and definitely tacky times. The design of the retro versions of Mordecai and Rigby definitely take cues from some of the 80s most popular fads and fashions. Mordecai has expertly applied a flock of seagull style hairstyle, along with a bright neon pink pair of shutter shades. Surprisingly enough, shutter shades have made a huge comeback recently after guys like Kanye West sported a pair in the music video for Stronger. Adding more to the clash of 80s fashion fads, it seems like Mordecai is sporting a MC Hammer inspired outfit, including a white jacket with pointed shoulders over a pink with blue squiggles parachute pants. Mordecai's retro outfit is concluded with brightly colored high tops in neon green, blue, and pink. Additionally, Mordecai has on a gold wrist bracelet, because as we all know, if you're going to dress like MC Hammer and remain too legit to quit, you gotta throw on some heavy jewelry, which leaves me missing something like a heavy gold chain around Mordecai's neck. Oh well. Despite all this added attire off the normally nude Mordecai, his tail feathers have no problem escaping out the back between the jacket and parachute pants. Referencing the art on the back of the packaging, the blue coloring of Mordecai's face comes off looking a lot more blue than it should in comparison. It would have also been nice to see the blue reflective highlights in Mordecai's hair. But if you're handy with a paintbrush, you could add those on yourself. Moving on to Rigby now, Rigby is sporting what appears to be a combination between a mullet and a jerry curl with a pink knotted bandana. Rigby is also wearing an odd style of sunglasses that I'm less aware of being popular during the 80s. But who knows, there was way more fashion do's than don'ts back then. Once again, Rigby is given an open mouth smile. The teeth are sculpted well and the opening of the mouth is nicely inset. Rigby also sports a pink and blue striped cutoff t-shirt along with a gold medallion necklace. The sleeveless Michael Jackson Beat It style jacket is a completely separate piece from the rest of the sculpt. You can bend it and flex it a bit, and might even be able to completely remove it. Looking again at the back of the packaging artwork, the jacket comes with considerably less detail than how it was seen in the show. A few misses of highlighting different silver trim pieces, but you still get the picture through the sculpt. Rigby's tail, like Mordecai's, is still easily fed out the back end through a slit in the jacket. Comparably, Rigby's black shoes are quite a bit more plain than Mordecai's neon colored high tops. Both Mordecai and Rigby are adhered to a clear base and are not made to be removable.
All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's in store for us for articulation this time around. So pretty much what you see is about what you get. Yeah. Mordecai is obviously better at doing the bobblehead motion than Rigby's. Not really much movement at all. In fact, it's almost like a broken joystick. Yeah, so these arms are made out of a bendy sort of plastic, but they're not intentionally made for bending, so keep that in mind. But other than that, like I said, what you see is what you get. You get this, and that. Not as good. So, yeah. Not great. I mean, obviously, they're more like figurines with bobbleheads, or just small bobbleheads at all. But if you move them real fast like this, They look like they're doing a whole lot more. I learned that in fifth grade, bendy pencil. While there is almost literally no articulation other than the bobblehead function, which Rigby seems to be having a problem with, these figures still offer a lot of character. Despite the show's title, this show is anything but regular, and figures or figurines like this are a prime example of the off-the-wall humor that it entails. And while Jazzwares might need some improvement in quality in some areas, they make no slip-ups when selecting great moments, looks, or attires as inspiration for their figures. Stay tuned for more soon-to-come regular show toy reviews, as well as many other genres of action figures. For WayCoolNews.net, I'm Mark, and this has been another WayCool Review.